Good morning. This is Harshit, your tech host for today, bringing you all that is new in this emerging tech world. We are thrilled to announce the biggest tech edition of IT Voice magazine. Don't miss out. Click the link below in the description to dive into the future of tech. Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla, SpaceX, and XAI, engages in a discussion about the future implications of artificial intelligence with UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Musk envisions AI has a potentially disruptive force that could make human jobs obsolete. He humorously suggests that AI might surpass human intelligence, reducing work to a pursuit of personal satisfaction. Musk likens AI to a magic genie but also expresses concerns about the threat it poses to humanity. Next we have Apple CEO Tim Cook praises India has an extraordinary market with a growing middle class. Apple reports its highest smartphone shipments in India during June to September 2023, marking a 34% year-over-year growth. The Indian market shows signs of recovery with a 44% year-over-year growth in ultra premiumization. Apple's India business achieves a record milestone of rupees 50,000 crore revenue with sales and net profit both surging. Apple records strong iPhone sales in China during July to September, achieving a quarterly sales record for iPhone in mainland China. Despite concerns about competition from local smartphone markers, Apple expects to sell more iPhones in the upcoming holiday quarter. Huawei's sales grow in the same quarter despite an overall 3% drop in smartphone sales in China. Apple's sales in China have faced challenges throughout 2023. Sam Bankman Fried, the founder of FTX, is found guilty of one of the largest financial frauds on record, involving $8 billion in stolen funds from users. The verdict comes almost a year after FTX filed for bankruptcy, wiping out Bankman Fried's estimated $26 billion personal fortune. Bankman Fried had pleaded not guilty to fraud and conspiracy charges. His sentencing is scheduled for 28 March 2024 in a case brought against former cryptocurrency executives. WhatsApp bans over 71,11,000 accounts in India to comply with the new IT rules of 2021. The platform, with a user base of over 500 million, receives 10,442 complaint reports in September, acting on 85% of them. WhatsApp has taken remedial actions based on reports, either banning or restoring accounts. The platform is also introducing a feature to archive community group chats for improved user experience. Next up, we have leading AI developers agree to collaborate with governments to test new AI models before official release, aiming to manage global AI risk. Political leaders from the US, EU, and China unite at the UK's AI Safety Summit at Blatchley Park to identify and mitigate risk. Companies such as OpenAI, Anthropic, Google DeepMind, Microsoft, Meta, and XAI are actively involved. Elon Musk suggests that companies using AI technology are better equipped to uncover problems and share findings with lawmakers emphasizing the importance of thorough AI development. At last, Kobo, a new e-reader brand, enters the Indian market, offering a range of e-readers in different sizes and price segments. Models available in India include the Kobo Libra 2, Kobo Clara 2e, and Kobo Nia. Prices start at Rs. 10,999 for the Kobo Nia, Rs. 14,999 for the Kobo Clara 2e, and Rs. 19,999 for the premium Kobo Libra 2. Kobo e-readers feature a 6-inch HD e ink screen, Wi-Fi connectivity, 8GB storage and a 1000mAh battery with varying packs for different models. This is Harsh signing off. Stay tuned and follow IT Voice for the latest tech news. Hello, friends. Do you ever see your device in your device? And what is this? DCIM is the full form of Digital Camera Images. This is a standard folder structure. जो आपके डिजिटल कैमरा या स्मार्टफोन से ली गई फोटोज और वीडियोस को स्टोर करता है तो अगली बार जब आप अपनी फाइल्स को ब्राउज करेंगे तो आपको पता होगा डीसीआईएम का क्या मतलब होता है सब्सक्राइब बटन को क्लिक करना मत भूलना फॉर मोर टैक इंसाइट्स मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट शॉर्ट